Yes, yes, I've seen it, I've seen it, so you can stop tagging me on it. Uh, he's not going to get a mad lad just yet, you know, maybe he will, maybe he won't, I don't know, let's see how things go. But basically there is just some random student just cutting around Kabul in Afghanistan because he wanted to go on a trip to dangerous countries. So he just decided to go and he's stoting around like just, oh, I'm on a nice little holiday, you know, like... Some people go backpacking to France, but your your man here just decided to go to Afghanistan as the Taliban are taking over. I mean, right now, I would argue it's probably the worst time to be in Afghanistan. I don't know. I think he's been there for a while, though. I don't think he knew uh, what was about to kick off. But basically, uh, let's go through the story, right? Because a, a, lot, a lot has happened. But before we get into this video, it is, in fact, your boy, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid has taken gaming by storm and has brought a true console level experience to gaming on the move. With millions of champion combinations and countless tactics to master, you will conquer raids, dungeons, campaign battles and bosses. There is also my personal favourite mode, the PvP arena, to mine that precious, precious soul. In addition, there are also hundreds of artefacts and buffs with over 500 uniquely skilled champions to choose from so you can fight your battles the way you want. The Banner Lords are one of the few completely human factions in Talaria, with armour, weapons and designs based on the feudal knights of medieval Europe. They were founding members of an alliance between the Sacred Order, High Elves and the Barbarians to push back against the forces of evil. But now they have seriously lost their way and have just launched a war against their old allies, the High Elves. Rumour has it that their once good King Taba has come under the influence of a growing shadow and it's your job to find that out in Chapter 1 of the campaign. So use my link in the description down below to download Raid for free on your phone or PC. In this month, Raid has released a ton of amazing new clan features and improvements, including brand new quests for you and your clan to work together on. There are also added benefits for every clan member just for simply being in a clan, and a brand new clan shop that gives you access to some incredibly powerful items. This month also brings a bunch of new champions to collect from fragments in the Doom Tower and loads of events and competitions for you to take part in. To give you a starting push in Raid Shadow Legends, hit the link down below or scan the QR code on the screen to get 200,000 silver, an XP booster, an energy refill, an ancient shard and the epic champion Chonuru, so you can summon a great champion as soon as you get into the game. These rewards are only available to new players and only for the next 30 days and you can find these rewards here in your inbox. Decided to pop down to, because all of this is from a 4chan thread that he's been posting on. Uh, decided to pop down to Afghanistan for a few days, never been before, just goofing off and soaking in the sun. Seems more peaceful than London to me, ask me anything. And then people were asking him to post evidence and stuff like that, and he posted a form and stuff to prove he was there. Now, he had a, a plan in place should he ever be kidnapped by the Taliban. Um, he called himself Lord ML Rootledge. Um, if the Taliban kidnap me, the plan is simple. I'm legally, technically a lord, bought a fake certificate, wore a suit in a bank, uh, talked to talk. So it says lord on my bank cards. The Taliban may see this as reason enough to keep me alive, thinking it may hold some negotiating power as they think I'm important. Let's hope it won't get to that stage though. So kind of clever plan until, I mean, like the Taliban have Google. Like, right? The, t the Taliban do have Google, right? I, I, like, a lot of them have smartphones. A lot of them have smartphones. They could just whip their smartphone out and go, Lord Rutledge, zero results, face the wall. Right? So, I mean, maybe, maybe it might work. I hope, I hope it works. <laughs> That's the case. Uh, tickets are non-refundable. Therefore, I either I stay permanently in a grave or I leave on the 19th as planned. Just the Afghanistan grind set. And there he is, just posing with rifles and uh, other equipment and stuff like that. You know, having, having a nice little trip, you know, something for the slide show to show back home. Uh, the problem with these images is they are bloody tiny. Um, just want to reiterate my confidence in the intelligence agencies show that the capital may be taken with, uh, over within 30 days. <laughs> Turned out it was just a few days. The capital is currently overrun. It has been taken over. 
Um, my room is nice. It's hidden off the street and barricaded with several steel doors and checkpoints with guards. I have a 32-inch fat TV. I've got AC, which works surprisingly well. Double bed and the mattress is rock hard, but apparently that's the custom here. I kind of like it. I've got a private bathroom and I get breakfast in the morning if I want at no charge. They also offer takeaways. Checked Uber Eats for shits and giggles and nothing. Um, I got some last night. Very good and cheap. That's, I'm happy you're enjoying your trip. I'm happy that you're having a great time. Uh, and then he's just talking about the food and he's talking about various other things, right? And uh, basically things have, like, you all know, things have gloriously kicked off while he was there. Gloriously kicked off while he was there. And now the man obviously is in a little bit of a panic and he's trying to get out of the country, obviously. Uh, country in anarchy, saw a few dead in a car crash, military is fleeing and only a few brave stay. Embassy is closed, so I walk to the airport and I'm safe. We'll find the British representatives and get a flight out. Or so he thought. Uh, so, holy shit, he's making it. Got into my hotel, heading to the embassy. Covered myself in a burqa so they couldn't tell I was a white guy. Embassy closed, so I walked almost an hour to the airport. I took off the burqa halfway and I'm wearing a headscarf, trying to find the British ambassadors. I'm safe at the airport, however. Short response for now, only essential talk. We'll update with time. Jesus has saved me, I hope. I will either die a man or leave with giant balls. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah, this one as well. We can't find someone at the airport that knows what's going on or how to get out. There are no representatives here, I think. One said there are no more no more flights to. We'll have to wage guerrilla warfare across the Taliban until I reach another airport or something. I think that says the text is bloody tiny. Aye, so basically, uh, no more flights in Kabul. I'm stuck in Afghanistan. A bit, bit of a pickle. <laughs> a, bit, a bit of a pickle, boys. I... I I appear to be trapped in Afghanistan due to a terrorist uprising. <laughs> so it's quite, quite a thing. <laughs> Jesus. So the Taliban enter the airport. They saw me, but kind of didn't care. I'm going back to the safe house now. Plan is to wait and see if any flights resume. Basically, like there could still be a way that you could get out. You just need to stay in the safe house. The Taliban aren't exactly going to be going door to door just yet. You have You have time. Uh, reality is stranger than fiction. The man is now in a safe house and may live stream soon. And he did do a live stream, but apparently it cut off very quickly. Um, on the stream, he said he wanted to go to Syria and the embassy to ask if he could meet Assad, but they said no. I kind of, I really like this guy. <laughs> I don't know why. I really like him. I think, I think what he did was monumentally stupid. It was extremely stupid, but I really like him. <laughs> I think he's hilarious. Uh, stream died. His last words were, it smells. Got the whole lot recorded, but I'll have it edited. The stream is still going on. Uh, cutting down here. I want to see the screenshots from the actual guy. Uh, the raid never ends. I'll be given body armor. Emergency evacuation right now to a better place as all the compounds are to be abandoned. I'm with the best of the best. Yes, there were pictures and then there's everyone like, yeah, Mad Lads material. Yes, I've been tagged in it loads of times. Uh, and one of the things I'm trying to find as well now, there is a picture of him, and he has met up with a unit of soldiers, I believe, who are from the RAF. So, you know, not exactly good in ground combat, but, you know, it's better than nothing. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, they're used to sitting, you know, just watching telly in their quarters instead of doing, you know, real military work. Just saying. Uh, but basically, it's him, and he's armed, he's got body armour and everything, so at least, like, he has somewhat of a fighting chance, right? But it means if he's with people, and, like, obviously, like, RAF's not just going to get abandoned, people will be getting pulled out and stuff like that, and he's got a better chance of getting out, like, with them. So I I pray, I pray and hope that everything works out for this man. Like, again, going to Afghanistan, I don't think he, like, he knew that the military was going to pull out, I don't think he knew it was going to be so sudden, I, I still think it's a bit stupid going to Afghanistan, I, I still think that that's a bit silly, but, oh, what a lad, <laughs> like, what a lad, man, oh, lord, I'm a lord and I'm in a terrorist uprising, you better, better post this on 4chan, on that, on that 4chan, <laughs> it's like, um, I'm nervous. I'm laughing, but I'm nervous for him. I, I really, 
I really want him to get out. If he is with military guys, then they're they're not just going to get abandoned. There will be some type of helicopter or plane that they can get. And I know that military flights are still leaving. However, there's a lot of uh, fuckery happening at the airport where people are getting shot at and all manners of things for like trying to get on the planes. People are holding on to the planes and falling off them to their deaths, like as they're trying to take off because they're that desperate to get out of the country. But I will keep an eye on this story and see how it goes, and I really, really hope that it has a happy ending.